Right, another two recipes. Um, very simple, again, shepherd's pie or cottage pie, I should say. That's in there. The meat is just browned off. I've just put in the, the raw carrots and some mixed, mixed veg. I didn't have a lot left, so I've just put those in. Um, I need to put the gravy in there in a moment. And in this one, um, I sectioned off about a third of the mince. Um, I'm going to turn that into, I don't know what you call it really, it's kind of like a savoury mince. So in there I'm going to put some peppers. Uh, yeah, well I'll show you anyway. So, um, I need to make the gravy for the um, cottage pie. So I'm just going to get my jug. Now I do make my own gravy mix. It's weird, but I like it. So, I don't need a jug I'm just gonna sprinkle it in so I've got sorry reaching in front of you I've got some uh, onion gravy granules from Lidl I got some bouillon this stuff is delicious I'll leave it there because you might not have but it's really tasty it's a granulated stuff and um, Tesco's version of Marmite basically <laughs> simple as that really so what I like to do is and a spoon I shall sprinkle in a spoonful of the onion gravy which might make it to just to thicken it up nicely and excuse me again reaching in front uh, yeah this is bouillon if you've never seen it it's delicious I love this stuff I use it in all sorts of things so just a spoonful of that this is a like a dessert spoon Okay, and then if you don't like marmite or beef extract, then don't worry about it. I'm just going to rinse that spoon off. Yeah, it's a it really is a love it or loathe it. But I like to put I don't know, probably about half a dessert spoonful in. It really beefs up the gravy. I'm just going to put in some water gravy going on here and I'm just going to let that just simmer get those carrots cooked I've got so much washing up to do <laughs> that's why it doesn't take long so I'm just going to give it all a good stirring I'll taste it before I um, put it in its uh, final dishes because what I do now I let this cook and then I've got my um, IKEA food keepers here and I deliberately bought four glass ones because what I'm going to try and do normally I have to put the oven on to reheat the shepherd's pie but what I'm going to try doing is uh, reheating it in my air fryer but obviously it needs to be something glass or metallic I was hoping these would fit in because I like putting my shepherd's pies in these but um, they won't fit in the air fryer so they'll be um, fish pie because I've mashed the potato now just bog standard mashed potato um, the same yeah so the, the fish pies will go in there the cottage pies will go in the glass IKEA ones and yeah that's it really right um, pepper in the With that savoury savoury mince, that's what I'm going to call it. Uh, what I do is I um, cook rice, and basically, um, mix that in with the rice, and it's really tasty. And the magic ingredient is again the bouillon. It just makes it delicious. There are a couple of meals that I do cook from scratch because I can do them on the hob, and I don't like them frozen. And that is, um, <laughs> oh, 
you called risotto oh, yeah chicken risotto uh, the Delia Smith that's who it is Delia Smith's version of corned beef hash um, I think there's a couple of others I've just stood here now trying to think what they are I can't sorry I've done this before I put the Anyway, this needs to sit and cook for a bit now. Yeah, there's nothing in that other mince for the savoury mince apart from the meat and a little bit of onion one in there. With um, the cottage pie, you can put in it whatever you like. You know, it's a very adaptable recipe to put in your favourite veg. You haven't even got to do it with meat. You can get corn mince. cook down a bit and that'll be that'll be far enough gone now and then so I'll freeze it like that and then when I recook it I will probably put in some green veg maybe even some broccoli cook up some rice and then mix it all together and it's just really tasty but I do need to put in the bouillon now just a heap teaspoon maybe a little bit more yeah, that'll um, that will add some very nice flavour. It's the most amazing thing. It does thicken slightly, so I'm just going to put a little drop of water in. So that'll be a really tasty dinner. A little bit of rice mixed in it. Yum yum yum. When I actually eat these meals, you have to let me know if you want me to sort of show you how I serve them up. Um, that might be something you want to see. I don't know. I'm going to turn that right down. And the shepherd's pie. Cottage pie, sorry. Shepherd's is made with mince, that's the um, with lamb, that's the difference. those hubble and bubble and um, I'll bring you up back when I put the mashed potato on top not that one obviously oh fish pie <laughs> hang on stay there don't move I'm going to move you back. There you are. So, I'm hoping I'll get three. It may, might make, even make four, actually. Let's see what we got. Yeah, so you get haddock, cod, salmon. going to make three so we need to divvy these a little bit better oh sticking to my fingers right so i'm just going to put them in like that it won't take long to cook at all i shall make the parsley sauce I'll bring you back when I'm putting 
mashed potato on everything. All right, see you in a bit. Right. The um, cottage pie is done, or well, the carrots are done anyway. Well, it's all done, so. We will just divvy that out between the bowls. Now the lids aren't going to fit on with the mashed potato, I know this, so I'll probably just cover the tops with cling film. I hate using a cling film, but needs must. Um, and yeah, then they can go in the, um, well, we'll see actually, I don't know. Yeah, because I think the mashed potato will come, let's keep, let's just, let's just, let's just get going. <laughs> so again, portion it out. I do love cottage pie actually. It's got to be one of my faves. When I serve this um, I'll either have it with baked beans actually. I quite like uh, cottage pie with baked beans or um, extra veg. It's not going to make an extra one, so we'll just top these right up. So yeah, my plan is to heat them up in the air fryer. Sorry, bang, and um, that should brown the mashed potato at the same time. the uh, the um, parsley sauce on the pulp here for the fish pies. Keep an eye on that. Uh, the savoury mince is done. Um, I think that'll. Ch I think it'll just be one serving that one, so I can just put that in a thing on its own. Right, mashed potato time. Here we go. Um, spoon, see a huge pan of mashed potato. <laughs> escape from the saucepan. Go back in. This should be enough for the fish pies. Just squish that down. If I can get the lids on I will because I really really despise using cling film. going to fit actually so that'd be good when I bought these I wish I'd have bought the square ones they do a square version in Ikea and um, I wish I'd have bought those actually in hindsight being the wonderful thing that it is of course I think if I put the lid on that one it's going to squish out keep an eye on this Um, all you do with the parsley sauce mix is uh, put in a uh, half a pint of skimmed or semi-skimmed milk, whatever you've got. Don't want it to get lumpy, because nobody wants a lumpy sauce. As I say, yeah, they do a square one. I don't know what made me buy round. Because, um, you know, they don't stack very well in the freezer. So, oh dear. Honestly. Right. So, yeah, I'm not going to put them in the oven. Um, it, it's all cooked. Like I say, when I reheat it, I'm hoping 
that the air fryer will do that perfectly for me and brown the tops. So, that's those done. Lovely. And cottage pies. Nice. And um, let's just experiment with the lids. See if it will. My worry is it will push the gravy out. Oh no. Okay, that one's on. This is the one that's a little bit full. No, working, hurrah! The fish pies I will um, put in the oven for a bit, for about 20 minutes, just to um, just to cook the fish through. Um, yeah, I can't freeze those as they are. They're not, you know, the fish isn't cooked basically. Um, so they will probably. It does work. Great. Right, let me label those. It's, it's going to be. It will go wrong otherwise. Right, so, Shep Pie. I know it's cottage, but it's easier to write Shepherd's Pie. <laughs> Shep Pie. You're not chilli, you're Shepherd's Pie. New label. That's four of those. Lovely jubbly. Let's get this out of the way. And the nice thing about them is they stack beautifully. You can just see them there. So that is their only um, godsend blessing. Right, how are you doing? Come on. That's fine. these if you buy them that they're stacking when you're not using them you know they store so easy you just you know obviously stack them up don't spill it everywhere yes that's like a nice peppery savory beef mince and that'll be delicious with some rice and some other veg I don't know See, mm. we on powder. I love you. Our pot cooker is an absolute disaster. The potatoes spilled over. So. All right, come on. You really need to bubble. Then I know you're done. Just a label on there. See, it's not really that much hard work, is it? I don't think so. I mean, I. You know, I feel the benefit, obviously. Um, the convenience of being able to just go to my freezer, pull out a freshly cooked, really nice, you know, dinner that I know exactly what's gone in it. There's no, well, I suppose there is processed food because I've used packet mixes. Do you consider that processed food? I don't know. But, um, Anyway. Yes, we've used quite a bit of energy, but the payoff is um, it doesn't take much to reheat all this food. So you can thicken up in the oven as you're being a pain. Okay, I've made quite a lot of sauce actually, so. I'm not going to put it all in, I don't want it too runny, although it should thicken up in the oven. Sorry, that was right by the speaker, wasn't it? So, put you on there. Get off. 
think we're going to have a thunderstorm. It's getting very dark. I hope the light's okay. If there's going to be any mashed potatoes left over, let's really pile these ones up. Because there's a lot more depth in these pots, which is why I like to do the cottage pies in them, but needs must. Right, I need to take that chicken out because it's um, pretty well done by now. these foods over. Whoa. <laughs> That's the owl Mexican chicken that is blooming hot. chicken hot pot and somewhere down here just the sausage casserole perfect so I'm gonna put the fish pies on a tray so we'll grab those all out at once it's getting really warm in this kitchen goes half an hour so what's the time so five o'clock we'll get that out right let's have a look at these they should all be beautifully done it's going to be hot 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 what I tend to do is let this all cool down a bit yeah it's the carrots mainly Sausages were part cooked anyway, so that's fine. So let me, as you see, it's boiling hot. So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll catch up with all this later. It is too hot to handle at the moment. Um, that's the yowza. That's the Mexican chicken. Mmm, that was warm. And um, that's Mexican chicken. You're in, you're in charge. Let me just unwrap you slightly, sorry. And then that's the um, big chicken hot pot. As you can see, it is boiling hot. So I'm going to leave this lot to cool down. And yeah, I'll come back to you when we section all this out. The fish pies are cooked and then we'll have a look. I've still got some more to make. I haven't done the Somerset pork yet. Um, I can do that another time, I guess. But anyway, I hope you're enjoying this. I hope you find it useful. No, it's not terribly exciting. No, I don't use a ton of spices and everything, but it's good food and it saves a fortune. So I'll come back to you later with the plating up and the show. And I don't know if you can hear the rain, but it's just thundered and lightning. So I'll catch you on the next one. Bye. <laughs>